Hey guys, what's up? Before I get to my best drift of May 2015, I'd like to show off this other drift as an honorary mention. Basically, this drift achieved the highest rank, though that rank is still tentative for a while now, so that may change. The actual reason for including this is because I wanted to show off how much my technique has improved. This is my Supra that I had originally tuned for the sole purpose of reaching speeds beyond 300 miles per hour before adjusting some settings to make it useful for drifting. When I first showed it, it was my first try using this car for drifting, and I didn't really have a firm grasp of how to control all of its power. Normally, I would simply initiate my drift, floor it, and then use the transmission to adjust my line and slip angle. However, the way this car is set up, you really don't have to shift much. Actually, you can't. The gears are really wide so that it could achieve a speed of over 300 miles per hour if it wasn't sideways all the time. It turns out that I can maintain full opposite lock and use the gas to adjust my line and slip angle. Even in the low end, this car has a ton of torque, so I can maintain the drift while just barely touching the gas. It's still unstable going up hills, but I've gotten better at using driving technique to deal with that. This is currently ranked in the top 300, however, in terms of point accumulation rate, this drift lands in fourth among all of my drifts this month. My best drift of the month was achieved in the four-wheel drive race car drift trail event. In this event, I achieved a total score of 10,727 points in 60 seconds, resulting in an average of roughly 179 points per second. While I did perform very well in this event, I don't really like drifting four-wheel drive cars because they like to straighten themselves out very easily. As you can see, compared to how I was drifting the Supra, my steering here is all over the place. I need to counter steer to keep my line wide enough to get around the corner, but if I counter steer too much, the front end will pull the car straight, even though it's only getting 10% of the power. While it is extremely difficult to work with, what makes this so much better than my Super Drift is the speed at which I can drift this car because the front end is trying to pull it straight.